Hey connectors, it's Denise on a free. Still no workbook. I am hoping for next week. And if everything goes well with my editor and then the technical side of getting that workbook up to the website and in that sort of email loop, I will be getting you part three of the workbook next week, fingers crossed. But until then, I'm gonna give you a little peek inside, continue the peek inside, and we're gonna be talking about responsiveness. So responsiveness is part of the acronym Are You There For Me, A-R-R-E, and responsiveness relates to getting, getting um, the attention or getting, well, the response that you're looking for or the response that you need when requested uh, from your partner. But I also want you to be thinking about how you are responsive in your relationship. So this isn't all about wagging fingers at our partners. This is mostly about looking at our own stuff and how it relates to relationships and how we're relating with others and how others are relating with us. So the first question um, in the workbook, I'll just give you, maybe I'll give you one or two. I'm not gonna give them all to you because you know that workbook is worth downloading. Um, okay, so if I need connection and comfort, my partner will be there for me. So answer that true or false. And if it's false, I want you to rate your false on a zero to 10, where, I'm um, sorry, one to 10, where one is just a little distress about that being false, and 10 meaning it's the most distressed you can imagine that it's a false. So if it's a one, then maybe this isn't an area that you need improvement in your relationship. Sure, it's not perfect, it's not a true, but maybe it's not a value for you. If it's a 10, then you're needing to find out how can I get connection and comfort from my partner when I need it most. Uh, the second question that I'll share with you, my partner responds to signals that I need him or her to come close. So there's two things here. I think it's important that we're attuned with our partners so that we're reading some of those signals, but I can tell you that direct communication is as good as it gets. So direct communication, instead of sending those signals would be, I need you to come close or I need you uh, or I need to be close to you. Um, so don't always rely on the signals. I think attunement is wonderful and I think we may put a little too much stock into misattunement. That sort of, uh, gosh, I can't read his mind. Oh gosh, she wants me to read her mind. Signals like uh, the obvious ones, like I am crying. That should be an obvious signal um, in a relationship that something's wrong and, and we want someone to be responsive to that. But passive aggressiveness or, well, I slammed down my phone and my dinner plates and he couldn't read that signal that I needed him to come close. Eh, you're a little misattuned with your own communication. So take responsiveness into account. Consider how responsive am I to my partner? Am I attuned to his signals? And do I come close when I suspect that my partner is seeking connection and comfort? So don't just point fingers at others. Take a look at yourself too. See you next week. Bye.